Welcome to Computers with 7 Opposites. In the past, computers looked like that. This is a story of how computers become what they are today. 1. Holes or no holes. At first, punch cards with holes or no holes control threads to weave clothes patterns. Next, machines with punch cards count people and collect census data in the USA. Fast forward. Computers still use punch cards into the 1980s. Data is the holes in the cards. 2. On or off EBITs. Digital computers change data directly into on or off bits of electricity. What do we do with all this digital data? We type text and documents, take pictures, and create content. Digital data also entertains. Computers do more than just count and create. They also control. 3. Human hands are computer controls. At first, machines give the muscle, but humans control the actions. An example is the first elevator lifts. People control the machine that goes up and down. Today, computers control lifts. In the past, people make things like cars by hand. Today, computers control machines and robots that do much of the production work. 4. Big or small size At first, computers are room size but weak. To process data, people interface with dumb screens. The screens are called dumb because the terminal does no computing. The dumb screens are connected to the main computer. Today, we are often connect to the computing cloud with its shared software and storage. 5. Out or in sync In the past, computers are slow. Today, they are faster. Here's an example of out of sync video and sound. In the past, computers often pause or buffer. We have to wait as computers think to process data. We see this when watching a video, and the pictures and sound get out of sync. Today, it is amazing to think how in sync all our on-demand digital data is. 6. Simple or Complex In the past, computers are complex machines. This has over 19,000 V-tubes. Room-size computers are physically complex, but only simple on performance. Today, small computers look simple, but inside, they have the second most complicated objects in the known galaxy, microprocessors called chips. The first most complicated object is still the human brain. Today, computers often simplify tasks, but computers also do the opposite. 7. Alone or Connected At first, Personal computers can only work by themselves or stand alone. Today, billions of computer devices worldwide are connected via the internet. Amazing how all of these computers speak the same digital language when human users speak hundreds of different languages. Connected, computer chips also enable self-driving cars and autopilots for planes. Separate computer chips are also in alone everyday objects. IoT connects all these objects together as part of the Internet of Things. Sensors and chips send data to computer servers. To close, at the core of computers are opposites, holes or the whole world, on or off EBITs. Human hands are computer controlled, alone or connected. In one way, computers simplify our lives by connecting us to people and the things we care about. In other ways, computers give us access to so much data that computers complicate our lives. May we keep in mind one more opposite. Be careful that computer servers don't become our AI online bosses.